Yo, what is up guys? My name is Lightning Gamroid. It's finally that time. You've all been waiting for this. I finally got series 22 of the Minecraft minifigures. Yep, that is right. After two months of it being released, I finally found it. I actually found a full case untouched, so you know I had to have it. So here's, we got series 22. This is the Melon series. Unfortunately, they never made a box that actually has all the figures and the names of the figures on the sides. But we still have them on the top. But I don't know why they decided to print it like that. Also, I want to get some scissors. Okay, got some scissors. I'm going to just cut the tape off so I can return them. I just retape it, return them if I get a factory error. So I got the list of codes right here. This is a completely different batch code than the one I have. The batch code I have right here is 28300. Right here, can you see it? It says 28300. But before we begin, a few things. I have come up with new ideas for series that there's not a lot but I want to share some of them with you and I want to make some more changes to the B series and the nether series as of right now I don't have any predictions on figures that I want for the caves and cliffs series I just want to wait for that update to drop first before I make a prediction on that we probably won't get that series as many figures till like 2022. But we still have yet to get a B series and another series. But we got another vanilla series right here that is not based on an update. So the figures, you can see them up here. I will explain them to you as I go along. So I have the list of Predictions right here. So, for the B series, since in the Melon series, I got four minifigures correct. Well, four and a half because one of them is different. The ones I got right the Calico Cat, the Brown Mushroom, the Wandering Trader, and the Farmer Villager. But instead of a villager, we got a zombie villager, so I will take it. So I changed some of them up. So instead of the Calico Cat for the B-Series, let's get a Gray Cat. Instead of a Farmer Villager, let's get a Fisherman Villager. I did play Minecraft and I saw a Fisherman Villager on a yellow bed. Which gave me the idea to get exactly that. A Fisherman Villager on a yellow bed. Also, instead of a brown mushroom, since we already got that, let's get a cow with wheat. You can feed cows wheat to breed them. I think that's how that still works. Even though in real life, you can't breed two cows. A cow has to breed with a bull. And finally, last one I predicted, right, was the wandering trader, which is now the chase figure in this. Let's get, let's say, a turtle with eggs. We had a zombie husk stomping on the eggs back in series 15, but let's have a turtle with all of its eggs. Turtle just guarding the eggs. And for the nether series, actually before we move on to that, I thought of a better idea for the Steve and the Alex. Instead of Steve on a bed, let's have a gardening Steve. I remember I gave that idea to Alex, I decided to instead give Alex shears. Let's go for gardening Steve and shearing Alex. A B series is also inevitable because we never actually got the vanilla B as a minifigure yet. So chances are we are definitely still getting that. Moving on to the nether series 
instead of a lava drowning creeper, let's get a lava drowning enderman. Because endermen can spawn in the nether now. So to honor that, let's have an enderman in the series instead of a creeper. So we could have like endermen with nether warts or a lava drowning enderman. Because I did see an enderman on fire while I was in the nether. So let's go for that. Also, as far as the Steve and the Alex, well, someone else had a better idea for the Alex in the series. I originally said Nether Wart farming Alex. Like I said before, I could either give the Nether Warts to the Enderman or the Enderman could just be on fire. We'll still have Steve with none of the right armor, but someone else had this idea. I don't know who, so credit to whoever thought of this idea. This idea for the Alex would be similar to the Steve back in series 10. Back in series 10, Steve had Frostwalker boots, which allows you to walk on ice without slipping, I think. So in this case, we'll have Soul Sand Walker Alex, where I believe he can walk on Soul Sand full speed. So that's my idea. Everything else is going to be the same. Also, new future series ideas. I've already said before, well, B, Nether, more skins, more texture pack ideas. We got Norse mythology, candy. I've also had the idea of a Haywire series. How about let's also get like a mix and match series where you can mix and match some of the figures. Well, like you can take their heads off and put them onto other figures. It would be completely different from Series 11 because, like, some cases you can't actually put other parts on other figures. But let's get, like, a mix and match series where we can mix and match all the body parts. I think I'll do my prediction to that series in a later video. Also, one more thing. Let's have, this will be two different series. Let's get a Steve series and an Alex series. Like one series that has all the Steves with different alternate costumes. Well, different skins for Steve and different skins for Alex. If we do, let's at least get the alternate skins for Steve and Alex that we got in Smash Ultimate. That way we can have all eight of the different skins from Smash Ultimate into this. We already got Steve, Alex, Omni, and Enderman. Got those. But then the different skins that you can find in the game that appear in Smash Ultimate. And finally, let's have like a baby series. We've had had a few baby mobs as many figures like the baby horse back in series six but we never got any baby mobs for anything else so let's go with that so that's all i have i might come up with more but anyway i've stalled for long enough also one more thing i also found this this is the little mini mining little set kind of thing. I'm not going to box in this video. This will be my next video. Right, we got one with a sword. We got one with a pickaxe. We got one with a shovel. And one with an axe. And you can like dig in them to find an exclusive figure. The four exclusive figures that we got are a white cat, a sleeping fox, a gray horse, and a skeleton with an enchanted bow. I always wanted a skeleton with an enchanted bow. So at least we got that. So without further ado, we got this to open. I have waited a long time. Hopefully there will be no factory errors. 
was my last two videos that I did on Roblox. I did mini rants, but no, no, no mini rants this time. Let's only think positive. Let's talk about positive stuff. I finally found Series 22. So which way should I go? Should I start at A and go to M? Let's go M through A again. I have the best of luck doing that, so we want to find letter M. Letter M. M. Nope. Letter E is letter M. Letter M. 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 M as in Minecraft. No, that's F as in factory error. I want M as in Minecraft. Aha, M. Once again, the batch code is 28300. And there's going to be a B, and then the letter indicating the box, followed by the number 22, indicating that this is series 22. Okay, we're going to get started. Let's cut this open. So I hope you enjoyed my little mini discussion. Also, there's no checklist like last time. I wonder who this is. We got a villager with a straw hat. Very cool. looking at the list. So this is the farmer villager with the straw hat. Okay. Moving on. L. I wonder what this one could be. Okay, I should keep this open. This, I think this is the chase. Did we get the chase? Please, someone got the chase. We got. Uh, uh. got it. We got the chase. Sorry, John. I know you didn't. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, John, that you didn't get the chase figure in your video, but hopefully you'll have luck on finding this. I actually went to two targets that had a full case. I was excited, but we got the Wandering Trader. This is the chase figure to the series. Very cool. I did actually see a wandering trader in the game. They don't walk around villages. You can find them anywhere. They'll have llamas on leashes. Yeah, pretty cool. Alright, we are currently two for two. The next one we have here is K. Where is K? K. K. Okay, next thing you know, I'm going to get this up and then Series 23 is going to be out. Alright, this one should be a cake eating panda. No, this one should be the brown mushroom. Brown mushroom? Yep, we got the brown mushroom. I'm looking at a post on Reddit that has the, uh, the codes. Alright, brown mushroom. So if a mushroom gets struck by lightning, this is what it turns into. We got the brown mushrooms that we can, brown mushrooms that we can find. 
the game. They can normally be found in caves. So yeah, brown mushroom. Next letter is J. Where is J? Aha, uh -huh. J. Got a loose piece of tape down here. This one should be the panda eating cake. I can definitely feel it. Let's see what we got. Yep, I see a panda. So back in series 21, we had a panda eating bamboo. Oh my god, this one is so adorable. The pandas in Minecraft, they're so adorable. This one's eating cake. I might try that. I might make a cake and just give it to a panda. I like this one. Next one should be the Phantom and Flames I. Letter I. I. A hot letter I. Also, fun fact when I found that full case at Target, I found the box that had letter L, but it kind of looked a bit sus. Like it, like it looked like it said E. I'm pretty sure it did say L, but I just decided to put it back and look for the actual box that has L on it. But actually, since I opened the chase from letter L, I think that was the E box that I picked up. Okay, Burning Phantom. Here it is, Burning Phantom. Last time we got a Phantom was Series 15. I did actually find a Phantom in the game. So this mob behaves like the zombie and skeleton where they burn in the daylight, so that's what's happening. This phantom's just burning in the daylight. Just like the zombie and the skeleton. We are five for five. Next one is H. And I think that this one better have the one that I wanted. I don't want to do any more rants. I only want positivity because this is a Minecraft minifigures video. Okay, please have it. Please have it. I'm begging you, please be the one. I think it is. Yes! We got a Calico Cat. I've wanted a Calico Cat in Minecraft for the longest time. I got super excited to see that this was joining. And for them to actually make a minifigure out of this. This makes my day. So now that I get a good look up, good close up of it, it's holding a feather. The cat is holding a feather. I, I got it, finally got it. The next one we have is G. G. Where is G? Uh huh. Letter G. This one should have the galloping black horse. It's definitely feeling like a horse from the outside. It's looking like a horse. It is the horse. It's supposed to stand up like that. It's supposed to stand on its hind legs. So yeah, 
Like, this is what horses, horses normally do that in real life too, I guess, but if you try and get on a horse, it'll do that to knock you off. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. I haven't really gotten a vanilla horse in such a long time, in a series. Alright, next is F. Which should be a spitting alpaca, as it says on Reddit. Who posted this? It says user Dwarfmon on Reddit. So, shout outs to Dwarfmon for posting the Series 21 and 22 codes with the respective batch codes on Reddit. So, you got spitting alpaca, should be next. Where is the F box? Aha! Uh -huh. F. So here it is. Spitting alpaca. I guess this makes up for the spinning llama that we never got in series 13 since it was a three pack exclusive. Like I said before, no rant, so I'm not going to rant on not getting the series 13 three packs. This is supposed to be a positive video. So, positivity only. Alright. E, letter E, 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 letter E. What is inside of letter E? It is, it should be the Steve to the series. Gotta be the speed. Yep. So this is a Steve shooting a firework out of a crossbow. I like Steve's facial expression right here. That one big eye and the other eye winking. And then the next one should be the Alex of the series. This seems hard to stand up. Okay, I gotta stand up. So letter D should be the Alex. Uh -huh, letter D. Let's get that out. All right, we got an Alex swinging sword. Never seen them actually attack. Oh, I like, I like this little detail right here. Indicate that she is swinging her diamond sword. That's pretty cool. Letter C is next. C. I have all the boxes lined up. This one's kind of feeling a little sus. This creeper is sus. So we got some sort of creeper hit with arrows dropping a music disc. So if a creeper or any hostile mob gets hit by a skeleton, like if any creeper or any hostile mob gets killed by a skeleton, 
there is a chance that they could drop a music disc. And that is what is happening to this creeper. This creeper is about to get killed by a skeleton and he's dropping the music disc. That's pretty cool. Sorry, creeper. Except I'm not sorry. Creepers are awful. Except skeletons are more awful. I hate skeletons more than I hate creepers. Because creepers, they're easy to kill. You just gotta strike at them once, back up, so they move forward, strike at them again, back up, and then strike back up. Normally it takes four hits with a sword, so you can just go in on the last hit, and bam, you kill a creeper. So the next one we have should be the Tundra Fox with berries. I've never seen a Tundra Fox before. I have seen the regular fox. Okay, this one is small. Ooh. This one's cute. Kinda looks like it's holding roses, but it's actually holding berries. It's pretty cute. Not gonna lie. I can't lie about that. It is cute. We made it to the last box. If I did this correctly, this one should have the Sheared Snow Golem. Here we go. Sheared Snow Golem, did we get it? Last box. Yep, we got the sheer, oh no! Oh no. What did I just do? That's not good. I dropped it on the box and it turned into this. Anyway, I guess we're just gonna talk about the Sheared Snow Golem without actually looking at it. So basically, if you use shears on a Snow Golem, it takes the pumpkin off its head and that's basically what it's supposed to look like. So anyway, that's it. Let's recap, I'll put the recap on the screen right here so you can see it. You probably forgot that I did a tier list video on the Minecraft minifigures. Well, since I made that video during the time when Series 21 was out, here is where I would rank Series 22 if I added that onto the tier list. So we got a lot of really great figures. I love how it's another vanilla styled series. Anyway, we got really cool figures. We got a lot of the ones that we wanted for the longest time, especially the Sheared Snow Golem. Anyway, I am going to put it under A because it definitely belongs on A tier. All right, let's get back to the video. All right. Okay, so now that you know, what all the figures are. Whoops, I did not need to knock them down. So here we go. We got... This was supposed to be the Shared Snow Golem, but now it's the Series 19 Elm Golem. That was letter A. Tundra Fox, letter B. I don't even know what to call this creeper. I guess I'll just call this a music desk creeper. Letter C. Letter D, Sword Swinging Alex. Letter E, Firework Launching Steve. 
Letter F. Spitting alpaca. Letter G. Galloping black horse. Letter H. Calico cat with feather. Letter I. Phantom and flames. Letter J. Cake snacking panda. Letter K. Brown mushroom. Letter L. The chase figure, wandering trader. And finally, letter M. The farmer, zombie villager. So anyway guys, I hope you liked this video, but if you did like this video, please hit that like button. But if you don't like this video, then you still need to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys tomorrow when Series 23 comes out. Now, like, we might be due for Series 23, I don't know. We still got this to open, which will be a different video. So thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Oh, by the way, I was hoping that this would not be the last one I pulled, but I just wanted to do that. So here's here's a good look at the SGO Snow Bell. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.